Hey, good evening, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's having a great night. So, uh, movie night at my friend's place last night. Like every Sunday, a bunch of our us from work who've our uh, got our little clique. We've been good friends for a, a long time. Um, watched a movie on I think it was Netflix called They Clone Tyrone which was directed, directed by Jewel Taylor, who directed Space Jam, uh, the one that came out in 2021, and Creed 2. And it was also written by Tony Rettenmeyer. And let me tell you about, this movie was, it had like Jamie Foxx in it, and uh, John Boyega, which this was definitely hands down, um, John Boyega's best role. He was so good in it. And Jamie Foxx was hilarious. Oh my God. Jamie Foxx was fantastic. And I can't think of the actress's name, but she played, um, um, oh, and I think it was WandaVision. Why? Uh, Monica Rambeau. And she's going to be in the new Marvels, uh, the Captain Marvel sequel. So she was in it too, which she was fantastic too. Had a great cast. Um, there's also, if you haven't seen it, I am not going to do a spoiler review. Uh, there is a really cool cameo that I did not see coming, which there's a couple of movies I really like him in. Especially one from, I think it was 89 that came out. It was either 89 or 90, I believe, that came out. So, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, I don't know how to explain it without, like, ruining it. Um, something happened to John Boyega where he's going to get more money uh, that was owed to him. And something happens and he just wakes up and basically relives the same day. Now it's not like a um, Groundhog Day or Happy Death Day. I guess the first part kind of is but then it veers off and does its own thing. But it, I'm just telling you uh, it is a wild ride. I was so in tuned with this movie. I, I just was like, I was, I would, it, oh my gosh, it was so good. It was fan, I should say it was great. I'll, I wouldn't say it was excellent, but it was great. I gave the movie a, um, a nine out of 10 and I gave it four stars out of five on Letterboxd, which four stars out of five for me would be great. Uh, I'm definitely going to watch this again. And uh, I can't believe it, but it actually made the top five in my letterbox. So my top five for the year is um, John Wick, uh, Oppenheimer, Blue Beetle, Spider-Verse, and they clone Tyrone. Now, I technically was only going to do movies I only saw on the big screen for 2023 uh, and not anything that's on like Netflix that came out or Hulu or HBO Max but technically I was thinking when my friends brought up something I did have Prey the uh, Predator movie that came out last year number two as my second favorite movie of 20. 22 last year and I'm like okay that makes sense so all right I'm gonna add uh they clone Tyrone on Netflix in my top five so I don't know like it was just I didn't know what to expect uh I just read the little like expert on uh Netflix just to see what it kind of gives a small detail about the movie but it really doesn't really give a, a full detail but yeah it was just it was a it was such a really good Written, a, a really great written movie. The cast was fantastic. Uh, they just blend so well together. Uh, Jamie Foxx and John Boyega. And yeah, I'm definitely 
probably going to buy this again. If they end up releasing this on like Blu-ray, because sometimes Netflix stuff gets uh, a physical release, I'm definitely going to buy this one. I, I was really blown away by this movie. So definitely check out They Clone Tyrone on Netflix. And if you've seen it or if you haven't seen it, come back to this video and comment and let me know what you thought of it.